So after quite a bit of a hiatus, finally back. I've missed you guys, hope you missed me. New set, looks dope. Gotta tweak it around, still mess with you know some of the colors when we're grading, but I like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now some of you want you know them home theater vibes, but you don't have that home theater budget, or do you? This is the Vividbright F40, native 1080p for 200 bucks. Well, a bit over 200 bucks, but it just looked better in the title. But point is, it's really affordable, but is it any good? Let's be honest, man, most projectors are pretty plain, boring, just meh with the design. Now, that definitely is not the case here with the F40. It's rocking a pretty damn aggressive gamerish type of look, and rightfully so, this projector is targeted directly towards gamers, as it's boasting an ultra low latency, which we'll touch base on here soon. I personally really like the aesthetic, it's hella unique looking, and the logo on top is cool as fuck and even glows green when powered on. So yeah, big fan of the design, but that's subjective. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now besides that, you've got your keystone and focus adjustment wheels on the side of the projector, along with some speaker cutouts, which we'll touch base on here as well soon. Now the bottom is housing a kickstand to angle the projector up, and if you plan on hanging this thing from your ceiling, then down here is your four mounting points to do so. Now I know you wanna hear about you know the image quality and if it's good or not, which we'll get to in a second, but first, real quick, let's go over the ports. So on the back, you get two, yes, count them, dual USB ports on the back. Now, these will power up like a Fire Stick, or my favorite feature, allow you to play media directly off a USB drive, which is hella convenient. Now, unfortunately, you only get one HDMI port, which is disappointing. I mean, come on, give us two at least. However, I'm really impressed to at least see a digital optical port here. Alternatively, you got a 3.5 jack, although I'd personally use that optical port. Now, the IR sensor is back here as well, and I've had some problems here with the remote and the IR sensor. It works, but it's a pain in the ass, man. Half the time, it doesn't really want to communicate, takes a bit of fiddling around with. Maybe my remote's defective, I don't know just making you guys aware. Now, thankfully, you do have access to all those same controls on the back of the projector, which nine times out of 10, that's what I'm using to make adjustments. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up throwing that remote against the wall. Now, since this projector is made with gaming as the primary focus, I think it's best to cover that. Now, I've been doing a hefty amount of gaming on the F40, and overall, it's been good. Damn phenomenal if you actually, you know, consider the screen to price. Go and look at some of the prices for 80 to 100 inch TVs, right? Yeah, good luck with that. Now I'm not too sure what the actual response time is here on this thing, but it's gotta be crazy low, especially for a projector. I didn't notice any delay or anything like that from when I pressed a button to when actions actually happened on screen. Ghosty wasn't really an issue either. It's very minimal and I only noticed it when I was really seeking it out. Now, one thing that surprised me here and normally doesn't when talking projectors is the built-in speakers. They get extremely loud, and what's great here is they don't distort at max volume. And they have a good amount of bass, which I can't say for a lot of projectors. Obviously, you're not gonna feel the bass or anything, but the sound as a whole is great. So, $200, great gaming performance, awesome built-in speakers. What's the catch here? Well, the cutback is the color, actually lack of color. Not sure why it looks so dull and washed out. Maybe I'm just used to my projector's colors, which are amazing, but that also costs five times what this does. Now I've tried messing around with the settings for like 45 minutes before I finally said fuck it and just stuck with what I got. The redeeming factor here is the sharpness. It's great, almost perfect. The edges are just a smidge out of focus. You really, really gotta hone in on that focus wheel to get that sweet spot. But once you do, the image looks, mm, a1. So if you're willing, you know, to give and take a little, make a few sacrifices here and there, it's not a bad projector, especially for gaming. However, if you're looking to pick this up strictly for movies, I'd say look for something else. Spend a bit more money. But again, for gaming, it's great. So long as you could overlook those colors, that beautiful people wraps up the video. If you enjoyed it, just know that like button does get lonely. Consider subscribing. I'm out. This is my world now.